Hi guys, welcome! I usually start out the first day of each month with a 10 cards, 1 kit video, and that's what I have for you today using the new Spellbinders card kit for October. But I also wanted to wish you all a happy fall and a happy world card making day. And I hope you get a chance to make some fun cards today. So let's take a peek at the card kit of the month for October. It is called Oh What Fun, and you can probably guess what it involves. October's kit usually involves a Christmas theme. So I'm going to get a bunch of Christmas cards done in today's video. This is the contents page, and it shows you how to use the dies in this kit. You get a Christmas tree and a Santa die. So let's pull this out of the box, and I'll show you everything that it includes. As usual, you get 10 card bases and 10 envelopes, although you can make up tons more cards than just 10, <laughs> so you can pull in your own card bases for that. Here's your little baggie of adhesives. Here's a bag of cream-colored sequins. This is a pack of chipboard frames. I'll open this up in just a minute. And then you always get a pack of ephemera. Next is the pack of chipboard stickers, double-sided. These are always so fun to create with. And then this is a pack of puffy sticker sentiments. And then here is the stamp set. It's so cute. It has all of these little gingerbread men and some really cute Christmas themed sentiments. So next, let's dive into the pattern paper. This is one of my favorite things from these kits. You get two of each pattern. I love this little gingerbread pattern and some snowflakes. I love this bold red. You get so much variety in this. Here's some gold plaid. So this bright pink is just pretty. Then you get some more muted colors like this green. There's some Christmas bulbs and candy canes. I love it when they include stripes and florals. You get quite a few different plaids this month. And here's some more stripes and a text block. This is a very lightweight pattern paper, which is great for layering. I love those peppermints. And then you get some sprinkles and another plaid and another plaid green. Okay, so let's open up the pack of dies. They're really simple this month, which I love. They're very easy to use. So you get a Christmas tree and a Santa. And here's the outline to the tree. Inside of the Christmas tree, they put some bits that go to the Santa, all of the white pieces like his mustache, the brim of his hat, and the snowball. You get a sentiment that says Noel, and then you get things to decorate your Christmas tree with. So super cute. I'm going to be creating a couple of cards using these dies, so I'll show you how to put them together. The card stock this month is a piece of gold mirror double-sided. You get a white, and a black, a dark pink and a light pink, and this bold red, I just love that. A green, a blue, and a light blue. Okay, so let's open up the chipboard frames. These are fun because they have some dimension to them, and I love all of the bright colors. They give you a lot, and they do have a sticker on the back, so you just have to peel off the release paper to stick it onto your card. Next, let's look at the ephemera pieces. I am going to speed this up so we can see all of these pieces. They give you two of each, and there's such a nice wide variety of these pieces. And they're just adorable this month. I love the little gingerbread in the teacup, and then you get a bunch of little gingies. Next, I'm going to show you a couple of add-ons that they have this month. So these are a separate purchase. They are both called Oh What Fun, but this first one is a sticker pack. And you get four sheets that coordinate perfectly with the rest of the items in your card kit. You get some really cute images and sentiments. And you can just create a ton of cards with these. And then here is another pack. This is called Oh What Fun Sentiments. And again, you get a nice variety. 
You get a lot of smaller banner sentiments, as well as some larger journaling cards. I'm just going to pull these out so you can get an idea of what this little pack includes. And again, you get two of each. These journaling cards are really cute. I love the sentiments, and I used a couple of these on my cards today. So let's start out with card number one. So it's really easy to get overwhelmed with all of this crafty cuteness. Sometimes I don't know where to begin. So I usually start out with the powdered paper and pull out a piece that I like and go from there. I'll pull in some ephemera pieces, these pretty poinsettias. The sentiment is also from the ephemera pack that comes in the kit. So I'm going to create a little bouquet in the center of this card. I like to add a little more full, fullness to it using some of the extra bits. And for this card, the pattern paper really does most of the work. It's so darling. The flower I popped up with a foam square and the rest I'm just gluing down flat. And then I'm going to pop up the sentiment as well. I use a lot of pieces behind the sentiment so that it doesn't sag. However, the flower, I just used one foam square, so it's easy to tuck the other elements behind it. For a finishing touch, I'm going to add a little bit of white lace stickles on the center of this card. Just going to dot it. This will add some contained glitter <laughs> to the flower. And then I decided to add a little bit to some of the berries. I decorated the insides to all of these cards, so let me give you a close-up look at the finished card. The stickles will dry back clear and glittery. And then here is a peek at the inside. I always like to use leftover scraps from the pattern paper. Card number two, I'm going to use this beautiful floral piece of pattern paper, and I'll put a stripe of the gold mirror cardstock down the side. I'm pulling in more of the pretty poinsettia flowers, and the first layer I'm going to glue down flat. I'm just using a little bit of liquid glue to do this. It takes time for the liquid glue to dry on the gold mirror cardstock, which worked in my favor this time because I do end up lifting them up and tucking things behind them. Like you see here, I'm just going to tuck some leaves behind them. And it still hadn't dried. <laughs> it does take a while. The pattern paper is fun because it matches perfectly with these flowers that I'm gluing on. So the next layer I'm going to pop up with a small foam square and just center it in the middle of these flowers. I love the dimension that this gives to the card. You can use the foam squares that come in the kit but I just have a bunch of home squares in the top drawer next to me that I'm used to just pulling out and using. And I have two different sizes, the larger ones you see here and some smaller ones. The sentiment comes from the sticker pack and I pop that up with some foam squares as well. And then I'm going to use this white lace stickles again. It's just sitting out on my desk. So I grabbed it and I'm adding it to the centers of these flowers. Kind of have to be careful with this because I have to set the card down flat somewhere where I'm not going to stack something on top of it. And here is the finished card. I love how that gold mirror card stock just catches the light. And here is the inside. You have so many Ephemera pieces and stickers, it would be a pity not to use some of them on the inside. Card number three is going to be gingerbread themed. I love this piece of pink pattern paper with the gingies on it. Next, I'll layer on a piece of this bright red cardstock. I love that red. And now a piece of the green plaid. The focal piece of this card will be the little gingy soaking in the teacup of hot cocoa. And the sentiment comes from the sticker pack. I love this bold sentiment, so I'm going to pop that above the teacup. And then I use some foam squares behind this little gingy. 
I picked out a few gumdrops from the ephemera pack, and I'm going to use those like sequins. I'll just glue them down flat on the front of this card. So again, a very simple card, but I love how it turned out. And that's all there is for this card. Here's a close-up look. I love all of the matting and the layers. And here's a look at the inside. For my next card, I'm going to use a piece of this dark green cardstock on my card base. This is going to be a landscape top folding card and another piece of the plaid pattern paper. This journaling card is so cute. I love the sentiment. So this is going to be placed in the center of this card. And then I'm going to frame it with a bunch of ephemera pieces. And all of the ephemera pieces, I do pop up with some foam squares. So let's put down a Christmas tree, of course. And then I like this little row of Christmas trees. I'll put this at the bottom. I love to use bold sentiments on my cards like this. And like the previous card. It's so fun. Okay, next we'll put down the holly in the corner. I have a couple of little Christmas presents. I'll add another one to the top of the card. And then this smaller present just fits perfectly in the corner. And then I'm going to add a stack of presents in the last space there at the bottom. And this one I have to kind of tuck over the other two ephemera pieces, but that's all right. So this card is just jam-packed of ephemera pieces. And then I'm going to use some opal gems around the sentiment. I didn't use the sequins on any of these cards today. I'm just going to be pulling in some embellishments from my stash. I'm kind of tired of the sequins with the holes in the middle. I'm sure I'll go back to them sometime, but uh, for now, I just like the gems and the confetti pieces. Okay, so let's make another card. I'm using some blue cardstock. This is the light blue from the kit. And then I cut out the tree with the same light blue. But of course we have to use another piece of pattern paper. This was so pretty with the Christmas bulbs and the gray background. So my little Christmas tree doesn't get lost, I cut out an oval using some Blue Lagoon cardstock. And I'll glue this down flat with some dot liner. And then my Christmas tree is going to be popped up with some foam. But first I want to attach another layer to it just to make it really sturdy, kind of like a chipboard sticker. I put the foam squares behind the tree, but I haven't pulled off the release paper yet. I wanted to decorate it first. I'll attach the Curly Q swag, and there's three sizes. And then it even comes with some teeny tiny little bulbs, and I cut those out with some red cardstock. And I'll just dot those around the tree. Using my pickup stick, I can just pick them up and attach them. I'm trying to make sure that they're right side up. I cut out the star with some mirror gold, and I'll just attach that at the top, and I will add a small foam piece behind that. Okay, so let's pull off the release paper and attach this to the center of the oval. The sentiment I'm going to pop up with some foam strips, and I'll just attach this underneath the tree. And then I thought that it needed something more, so I'm going to glue down a few more Christmas presents just on either side of the tree. I have to pull out my all-in-one tool so I can lift up the side of the Christmas tree so I can tuck the present behind it. I almost need another hand here. 
But let's tuck that present behind. And here is a close up look. You could easily make up a bunch of cards with this cute little Christmas tree die set. And here's a peek at the inside. For this card, I'm going to be doing a little bit of pattern stamping using the three different gingerbread stamps from the set. And I'm using some VersaFine Claire ink. This one's called Acorn and it's just a light brown. And I have all of my acrylic blocks ready to go and stamp out these gingies. So I'm just going to fill up this piece of craft cardstock. I will be cutting it down later. And then there's a really cute sprinkles stamp from this set. And I'm just going to stamp that with the same ink and just fill up all of the open spaces between the gingies. Pattern stamping is one of my favorite techniques to do. And you get to use all of the different images from the cute stamp set. I'm going to heat emboss the sentiment. So it says Christmas wishes and gingerbread kisses. I love this bright red paper. I've never seen this in a card kit before and it's nice thick cardstock. I'll pour over the white embossing powder and then I can melt it. The heat turned the paper a deep red, but as soon as it cooled, it went back to the normal red. That scared me for a minute because it was changing colors on me. I used my hem stitch die set to cut out my stamped panel. And then I'm using more of the pattern paper, this bright red again. I'll center my gingies and then I'll put the sentiment strip just right across the card. Once I have that placed, I can just flip it over and cut off the overhang. My focal pieces for this card come from the chipboard stickers pack. And I like to add a little extra glue just in case. You have to be careful peeling the chipboard stickers off of the acetate because they want to rip. At least the, the backing wants to pull off. <laughs> And then this card is done. Here's a close up look. The stamp set includes a lot of really fun sentiments, but this one was my favorite. I love how it has different fonts on it. I think I'll go back and stamp another sentiment on the inside. There's a really cute one that says, you are magical. Hope your Christmas is too. So the next card involves cute little house ephemera pieces. I can never resist these when they include them in the pack. I'm using a piece of the pink cardstock to mat this really subtle green pattern paper. And I'm going to use one of the oval chipboard stickers. I'll peel off the backing and it is very low tech. So I'm going to bring in some glue just to ensure that it stays in place. So when there are little house ephemera pieces, I always put them in a line across the card. This time I thought I'd do something a little bit different. I'm going to attach them to this frame at different heights. But first, let's put the sentiment down first. It says joy to the world. I'll use my second little tree ephemera piece. And now for these cute houses, I'll use a little bit of liquid glue and then a foam square so that they're the same height as the frame. The other two houses, I just need a little bit of liquid glue because the trees are going to hold these up. So I'll add some glue onto the frame and one of the trees. And the same with the third house. I'm going to pull out my opal gems again. I use these a lot. And just add three of these around this panel. Spellbinders has a lot of different embellishments in their shop these days. I just love the gems and they also have confetti pieces. So from the sticker pack, I'm going to use one of these banners and just attach that up at the top. It just needed a little something more. And here's a close up look. The banner says, oh, what fun. 
And here is the inside. I went cr sticker crazy on the inside of this card. For card number eight, I'm going to use more of the ephemera pieces. I couldn't resist using the Santa and the snowman and the little gingerbread house. So I needed something to sit these on. So I'm putting a strip of pattern paper across the bottom of this card. This is going to be another landscape top folding card. And then I'll put some of these little scallop pieces next. It just looks nice on the seam between the pattern paper and the white card base. I decided I needed a little bit of color behind my ephemera pieces, so I'm going to bring in some light blue Distress Oxide ink. This one is tumbled glass, and it just wasn't dark enough, so I'm going to bring in some Mermaid Lagoon next, which is a deeper blue. And just add it more in the center. You can still see the tumbled glass around the edges of the Mermaid Lagoon. Last, I can attach these ephemera pieces. I had to use this sentiment. It's so cute. It says, you make the world a merrier place, and I'll just adhere that at the top of the house. I'll attach these down using some liquid glue. And now for the cute little snowman on one side and the Santa on the other. This is a great card to send out to a child. So talking about confetti pieces, I'm going to bring in some of these. They're called mirror gold discs. I'm just going to glue a few of them around this card. I love that they come in different sizes. And here's a close-up look at card number eight. And then here is a peek at the inside. That sentiment comes from the sticker pack. On card nine, I'm using this text block piece of pattern paper. I love the pink. I like involving pink in my Christmas cards. And then I'll use another journaling card. The sentiment on this one is really cute. It just says it's the most wonderful time of the year. And I'll adhere the frame at the top of that. I haven't attached the frame yet. I just wanted to start building some florals around the frame. I love all of the florals from this kit. Some of these are stickers and some of them are ephemera pieces. And then this one is going to go underneath. I just put glue on the top so it's not attached to the card yet. I'll glue down another floral on top to make it fuller and then I'll add liquid glue behind this and attach it to the card. It's super easy to line this up straight because of the text block. I decided to add a holly up at the top corner and another sticker to the side. On most of these cards that I created today, I'm allowing the pattern paper to do most of the work for me. These are pretty simple designs, but the pattern paper just brings it over the top. Next, I'll add some gold gems around the sentiment. And that's all I'm doing to the outside. Again, it's fun to decorate the insides of the cards, just to give your recipient a little surprise and pop of color on the inside. And now for card number 10. I'm going to use the Santa dies. I cut out his face with some Barely Peach cardstock, and I'm attaching a piece of black cardstock behind it for his eyelashes. I have all of the pieces die cut and ready to go. So these are super easy to use. I'm going to attach the little ball at the end of the hat. I got to pull out my pickup stick here to do that. And then here is the white fur that goes at the bottom of the cap. And they just fit perfectly within the frame of these dies. They're so well thought out, just makes it easy. However, I did get this bit wrong. His face is upside down here and it wasn't fitting inside the beard. I thought, okay, well, I'm just gonna keep going. I'll attach the nose 
to the center of his mustache and it just again fits perfectly and it fits onto the beard you can see the little tips of the mustache where you need to line it up and then I figure it out that it's upside down and I just gently peel it up it did rip a little bit but the hat is going to cover that so it's all right I'll attach his beard with some liquid glue and now it just fits snugly within his beard and then I'll add more glue up at the top to attach the hat and it looks really cute just as is but I decided to bring in some Copic markers just to add a little bit of detail to the beard oh yes and here's his eyebrows I'll put him aside for just a minute and get the card base ready I'm going to use this green plaid pattern paper again I really liked this color just kind of a soft plaid so pretty the sentiment comes from the puffy sticker pack and I'm trying to pick it up with this piece of tape <laughs> but it doesn't work out as well as I thought it would I'll put a little bit of liquid glue behind the sentiment these are kind of low tack stickers as well and I just wanted to ensure that they weren't going to flop off and then I can attach it under the frame I should have allowed it to dry a little bit longer because once I start peeling up the tape it starts lifting up the letters but let's pick up the second half of the sentiment I thought this looked really cute on the green pattern paper it was just a nice bold sentiment for this Santa I barely even made a dent in this card kit I can still keep going and creating card kits if I want so let's adhere the jolly down trying to line it up straight and then this is where I peel off the tape and the letters just kind of go askew here I'll use the other side of my uh, pickup stick just to align these back into place oh and one thing that I forgot to mention about the red cardstock the cardstock I used on the Santa's hat is that it has a white core so if you like paper tearing or a little bit of a vintage or distressed look this is great cardstock for that because of course when you tear it the white shows through so I didn't get a chance to do that yet but I want to make a card where I tear some of this paper now that the sentiment is in place I'll put down the frame I peeled off the backing add a little bit of glue and just center this above the sentiment and this is where I add a little bit of detail work to the Santa so I'm using a neutral one Copic marker and just adding a little bit of shading to Santa's beard as well as his mustache and all of the white bits on this uh, die cut it just helps to differentiate the mustache from the beard and it just makes it pop a little bit more I don't want to put too much of this gray Copic marker down because I want his beard to remain white and not turn it into a gray beard but just a little touch of the gray sure goes a long way and it didn't take very long to do so I popped him up with some foam squares and that finishes off card number 10 and here is a close-up look off camera I did add a little bit of glossy accents to his nose just to add another little touch to this card and here's a peek at the inside so I hope you enjoyed this 10 cards one kit video today and I hope it inspired you again happy fall everyone and happy world card making day <laughs> try to snag some time for yourself today so that you can sit down and create some fun cards I'll be back again really soon with another October Club Kit video. Take care, my crafty friends. Bye.